Hey guys and welcome to another video with Lugalili. So since there's only a few weeks left before the new episodes of Game of Thrones airs, I thought it was the right time to do some fan art and I wanted to create a drawing where I only used traditional medias just as a drawing I did of Yuri and Ice back in April and luckily I sold that drawing at my last convention but unfortunately I forgot to scan the drawing before I went to the convention and I didn't even realize this before I had sold the art so I don't really have any photo of the drawing either I only have this and it's not really the best but I just wanted to show you guys what I meant by doing it the same way as this with like a banner and the persons in the middle and sort of like that for this drawing I used my homemade light box that my dad made for me about 5 or 6 years ago and I used it to transfer the sketch that I did on a regular piece of paper onto a multimedia paper. For the line art I used my Stendler pigment liner and I used only the 0.2 liner to avoid smearing of the ink when I was going over it with my markers. I have had these kind of markers smear on me before, so I just wanted to make sure that it didn't happen again. I therefore added the line weight after the drawing was colored, and I also let the line art dry for a day to really try and avoid this happening. Because it always happens to me on the face, and that's like the worst place. It's like the nose smears or the mouth or something like that and it's really annoying because you look at the face when you look at the drawing and it's really annoying if the ink smeared on the face. I used mainly my pro markers to color the drawing but since I don't really own any grey or black markers in my pro markers collection I had to use my Copic original markers that I have and I don't really use my markers often enough to justify me buying markers let alone buying Copic markers and the ones that I actually own of Copic markers is not even markers that I have bought myself. I was giving them as I went to school in graphic communication. Also I have a lot of other different kind of marker brands but they are not as good as my Pro markers or Copic markers for that matter. So I'm not using those for final pieces, especially not pieces that I'm considering selling at my next convention. But these markers are really cheap and not the best so I'm not using those for final pieces. The only thing I kind of wish that my Pro markers had would be brush nibs. I kind of wish that I had the brush markers that Winsor & Newson have had instead of the Pro markers. But again, I'm not really able to justify buying more markers. It's just that I have a pack of touch brush markers and I really love the brush nib on those. And especially when you're coloring the hair, a brush nib would be really nice. I think that I managed to do a decent work on this drawing though with the hair. And one of my favorite things about this drawing is how well I managed to color the hairs. And if you haven't guessed it, I am drawing Jon Snow, Daenerys Targaryen and Tyrion Lannister. And the reason for drawing these three characters is that they are my absolute favorite characters from the show. And also I just really love the theory about the three-headed dragon. And the theory shortly states that both Jon and Tyrion is truly of Targaryen blood and that they will ride alongside Daenerys on the three dragons when the big battles against the White Walkers will take place. And I know it sounds weird and I may not be the best person to explain this but I will try and explain it more. So try, try and stick with me. In the season 6 finale we found out that Jon is not the bastard of Eddard Stark but the son of Eddard Stark's sister Lyrian Li Stark and Rhaegar Targaryen who is Daenerys' older brother who we haven't yet seen in the show which actually makes Jon Daenerys' nephew and then there's Tyrion 
The theory says that he's not the son of Tywin Lannister and Joanne Lannister, I think, but rather the son of Joanne Lannister and the Mad King Aerys Targaryen, which makes Tyrion the brother of Daenerys. And I know that this sounds weird and that it's just a theory and some people may not agree with me on this one, but I kind of really wish that this is true and I think that it would be a perfect twist, if you can call it that, for the show. But please don't hate me if you don't agree with me or if you have a different theory that you really love about the show that contradicts this theory. And if you didn't quite get what I was trying to explain you with this theory, I know that there's a ton of videos out there that explains this theory so much better than I was able to do or will ever be able to do. So you can go and watch some of those after you watch this video. This drawing is one of the most time consuming drawings that I have made with traditional medias. It took me about five hours to complete but I'm really really happy with the end result and I'm glad that I didn't try to rush it and I actually used I think three or four days to complete the drawing. One of the things that was most time consuming was definitely the fur on John's outfit just because I decided to use watercolors and I used my Winter and Newton watercolor set and I wanted to use watercolors to get this texture of fur that I didn't really think that I would be able to get using my markers, especially since they don't have a brush nib. And I added a lot of layers of watercolors and then a final layer of black markers just to give it that last dark touch in some areas. When I made the sketch for the drawing, I used the actress as references but then when I was done with the drawing and I sent a snap to one of my friend, he said that I should try and read the description of Tyrion in the book, like the way he's described in the book. And oh boy, is he described a lot different in the book than the way he looks in the show. So I'm not sure if this will annoy some people, but I haven't read the books, at least not yet. So. I wasn't really aware that there was such a big difference from the books to the show, so I'm sorry if this bothers some people. As one of the last things, I added the scars on John and Tyrion's faces, and I had almost forgotten about them until I actually pulled out the sketch just to make sure that I hadn't forgotten any details because I left some of the details out because I was afraid that they would smear when I went over it with markers and the scars were some of the details that I left out because I was afraid of smearing and I used a brown fine liner from Stendler so that it wouldn't look too hard on the face and then I went in with some coloring pencils on top just to get it a bit of a scary look if you can call it that. And finally, I pulled out my dear beloved light box once more, just to transfer the text onto the banner. And I wrote in Never Give Up, just because I feel like these three characters is some of the characters in the show that never give up. Uh, basically, none of the persons or characters in the show want to give up, but these three characters, I feel like that's one of their main things that they don't give up and they just keep fighting and that's also one of the things that I love about them but I wasn't sure when I made the line art so I decided to wait with the text until the end and I decided that I wasn't going to change my mind so the text writes never give up. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please remember that I post a new video every week. And if you want to be updated even more, you can visit my Instagram or my Facebook. And if you want to buy any of my art, you can go to my Redbubble shop. And until next time, take care and bye bye.